So, yeah, hello. So, um, we're not able to um, chat with you. It says guy three. Yeah, I, 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 I know the because of the network issue, I uh, left the meeting uh, accidentally. So I, I joined now. I will be the host now. So I think you can not just chat with me. Just let me check once, just a second. No, I'm fine. I am the host now, so you can chat with me now. So can you check just send one? a message? Oh, just a second. Can you see this now? Yeah. It's fine with all of you. Yeah. Okay. Yes, so last class we had discussed uh, the leveling effect of water, okay? And I, and I asked you to find out the H plus concentration if pH is given as 2.1, okay? So almost all of you have tried. So the last uh, question that we uh, were discussing is suppose the pH value is given Right, I've given you this value 2.1. Right, what is the concentration of H plus? Okay, concentration of H plus you need to find out. So like I said last class also, that few, no, log values you have to memorize. Like log two, log three, log five, at least these three. I'll give you all these value here. The value of log two, is 0 0.301, 0 0.301, log three value is 0 0.477, log five is 0 0.6989, and log seven is, 0 0.845, this is the exact value we have. But for calculation, sometimes we also assume this to be 0 0.48, or this is almost equal to 0 0.70 for calculation. We can do that assumption. Okay, now based on this, how can we get the value of H plus you see? Uh, we have this pH value 2.1, which we can write 3 minus 0 0.9. 3 minus 0 0.9, 0 0.9 we can write as, just a second.
Hello. Yeah, sorry, you got a call actually. Yeah. So, point nine we can write uh, three into point three zero. Why this I have written? Because point three zero, the value we have, it is log two. Okay. So we can further write this as three minus three log two, which again we can write three as in minus of log. 10 to the power minus 3 is 3 only. Minus 3 log 2, we can write log 2 to the power 3, which is 8. If you take this minus out, this becomes minus of log 8 into 10 to the power minus 3. Okay. So pH, we know this pH is equals to minus of log 8 into 10 to the power minus 3. And pH, we know it is minus log of H plus. So if you compare the two, Obviously, the H plus concentration we are getting here is 8 into 10 to the power minus 3. This is the answer we have. Clear? Any doubt in this? Yeah, tell me. Yes. So like this, you can solve. We can also write this as 2 plus 0.1, but we are not writing it as 2 plus 0.1 because we do not have 0.1 as any log value here. Seven into how it is seven you are getting, right? Yeah, Anidu, there are many different ways we can write. Just one of the method is this. The number 2.1 can be represented in many different ways. Yeah, that's why right. three minus uh, this, if you do, then it is 2.155. Since we have 2.1 over here, so approximation we can take like this 2.10 will have over there. Actually, in this way, you know, you should understand that how to proceed. Correct. So we have 10 to the power minus 3 here. In the option, it is given 10 to the power minus 3. It means you need to write 3 plus or 3 minus something. One of the ways is this. It's not like you cannot solve this by other means. You can do that. One of the ways is this. Correct? Understood? Okay. So we were discussing calculation of pH. Right. So there are different, different, uh, you know, conditions under which we need to calculate the pH of the uh, solution of the mixture. Correct. Uh, what you need to do, first of all, for the calculation of pH, you just require the concentration of H plus. But how to get this concentration of H plus in different, different condition that is important. Okay, basic formula is this only. You need to have the concentration of H plus substituted here. You'll get the answer there. Fine. So the first or uh, the next uh, condition we have, write down calculation of pH or pH of pH of the mixture of strong acid and strong base. Strong acid and strong base. Okay. So there are three different conditions we have over here. Right. 
so what is happening here acid we take and base will mix the two obviously acid and base will neutralize each other right so it is a neutralization reaction but the solution that you get from this when you mix acid and base that solution could be acidic could be basic could be neutral all three possibilities are there so under what condition the solution is acidic that depends upon what amount of acid or base we are taking if you take acid in is is in excess right then the solution would be acidic if base in excess solution would be basic if both are exactly equal then the solution would be neutral okay so the case one what we have i am assuming case one here in which the number of equivalents of acid na da is the number of equivalents normality into volume if it is greater than the number of equivalent of base obviously when this is given they will give you the number of equivalents like normality or molarity will be given like normality of acid and volume would be given if normality is not given then molarity will be given and we know normality is equals to molarity into n factor okay so accordingly you can calculate nbvb is the normality and volume of the base we have so when we have this if you mix the two depending upon the number of equivalents of acid and base we can have the property of the solution i am assuming here that the case one is the number of equivalents of acid is greater than the number of equivalents of base and under this condition this base will be this base will be the limiting reagent this is the base will be the limiting reagent and ba when when base is the limiting reagent then the solution is what solution is acidic in nature mixture will be acidic because we have acid left and when the mixture is acidic then we'll get h plus concentration we'll get h plus concentration as the number of equivalents of acid that is nava and some part of it gets neutralized we know the number of equivalents which gets neutralized is equals to the number of equivalents of base because we know equal equivalents react so number of equivalents of base that we have equal equivalents of acid will react this amount of h plus you will get divided by the total volume va plus vb so this is the formula of h plus and that is what we need to know we need to have the formula of h plus the value of h plus concentration and then we can substitute this in ph formula you will get the ph of the solution is it clear any doubt okay similarly we can have the second case i'm sorry case 2 case 2 i am assuming the number of equivalents of acid is less than the number of equivalents of base so here the condition is exactly opposite hence the result is also exactly opposite this nava acid is the limiting reagent here and when acid is the limiting reagent then solution is basic in nature and when the solution is basic then we'll get oh minus concentration not h plus oh minus equals to the base which is left that is the number of equivalents of base minus some part of it will get neutralized by acid 
by acid divided by the total volume Va plus Vb. Once you know OH minus concentration, you can further calculate POH, right, is equals to minus log of OH minus concentration. Once you get POH, you can find out pH is equals to 14 minus POH provided the condition or the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. This is what you need to do in this one. Clear? Now, the third case is yeah, that also you can do. You can directly divide by 10 to the power minus 14. You'll get H plus concentration and then pH. That also you can do. No problem. Okay. Next case three is When the number of equivalents of acid equals to the number of equivalent of base. In this case, it is the condition of complete neutralization. Case of complete neutralization. And in this case, pH would be seven. No need to calculate this. Neutral solution, pH is seven. Got it? Okay. Try this question. Calculate the pH of solution And the solution is we have of H2SO4 and NaOH. H2SO4, it is given 0 0.01 molar. And volume is also given over here. Volume is 200 ml of this. For NaOH, it is 0. 0 0.5 molar and volume is 300 ml. This is mixed. You need to find out the pH of the solution. Try this. Yes, done. Yes. 
So when you mix this acid and base, what you will get, you see? First of all, you find out the number of equivalents of acid and base. So molarity is given and volume is given. So the number of milli equivalents I'll write down. Since the volume is given in ml, so number of milli equivalents also you can calculate, not a problem. That is molarity. Number of milli equivalents would be what? We can write down here normality into volume. Normality is what? Molarity into n factor of H2SO4 is what? Please tell me. What is the n factor of H2SO4? Two. So 0 0.01 into 2 into volume is 200. So this is the number of milli equivalent of acid. Number of milli equivalent of base would be its molarity into n factor is one only NaOH into 300. I am writing down here as milli equivalent because volume is in ml, right? So if you don't write milli equivalent also the answer won't change. But technically, number of equivalent we cannot write here. That would be wrong. Okay. This is the milli equivalent of base. If you solve this, you'll get 15 here. 15 milli equivalent of base we have. If you solve this, you'll get 4 milli equivalent of acid. So obviously, the one which is less is the limiting reagent. So acid here is the limiting reagent. And e this milli equivalent will get neutralized. So solution would be basic OH minus concentration would be what is equals to 15 minus four divided by 300 plus 200, 500. It is 11 divided by 500 OH minus concentration. Okay. Okay, so when you solve this, you'll get 11 by 5 is 2.2 .2 into 10 to the power minus 2. Or we can also write this as 22 into 10 to the power minus 3. Okay. So this is what OH minus. If you find out TOH here, minus log of 22 into 10 to the power minus three, that would be three minus log 22. Okay, three minus log 22. Log 22 value is 1.3 approximately, hence POH is 1.7. pH is 14 minus POH. That is 12.3. This is the answer we have for this question. Done. All of you understood this? Yeah. This calculation you need to be a bit, you know, a bit careful. You have to be in calculation part. Usually what happens, we calculate POH and we answer like this only. pH is this in hurry. I'm getting 12.3. No, it's not 11.3.
right so for this kind of question you first calculate the number of equivalents of acid and base find out which one is more which one is less accordingly you can get the property of solution acidic and basic and then h plus or oh minus concentration you can find out okay now what happens if you have a mixture of acid ph of mixture of acid suppose we are mixing two acid here you can have more than two also right you can have more than two i am assuming two here so suppose we have two acid ha1 and ha2 we are mixing so ha1 will have its own normality and volume if not then molarity will be given accordingly you can find out normality similarly this one will have its own normality into volume so when you mix this two into a container right then in this container the total number of equivalents would be what in this container the total number of equivalents would be the number of equivalents of these two acids only number of equivalents of acid 1 number of equivalents of acid 2 and that would be n1 v1 plus n2 v2 this is the number of equivalents so further we can write since we are mixing only acid the total number of equivalents h plus concentration is n1 v1 plus n2 v2 divided by v1 plus v2 total volume this is the formula of h plus and then further we can find out ph from this formula done okay look at this question on this you need to calculate the ph of solution ph of solution we are mixing three acids here h2so4 we are mixing we are mixing h3po4 and we are mixing hcl three acid we are mixing for h2so4 we have 200 ml and 10 to the power minus 2 molar solution h2so4 h3po4 we have 200 ml and 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 molar for hcl it is 200 ml into 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 molar this is the data given you need to find out the ph of the solution try this once
Then what is the answer? One point five two. Yeah, that's one point five two is correct. Absolutely correct. Okay. So first of all, the number of equivalents. We'll find out the number of milli equivalents of this. Number of milli equivalents would be volume into molarity into n factor. And for this one again, volume into molarity into n factor. It's three. Here we have volume. Into molarity, into n factor. So number of equivalents here it would be four. Milli equivalent here it is three into three nine milli equivalents, and here it is two into two four milli equivalents. Okay, so total number of equivalents would be this plus this plus this divided by total volume. So H plus concentration equals to Seventeen divided by total volume that is two hundred plus two hundred plus two hundred. We have a six hundred mL here. Oh, one second. Point eight three into ten to the power minus two. I think slight change in the answer. Actually, one hundred. A problem method is this only. E H would be two minus log of. Yes. What is the value you got? Yes. So one point five five approximately. You are getting. That's fine. So one point five five is the pH value we have. Simple one for acid. We just need to add the number of equivalents divided by divided by total volume. Okay.
Okay, next is mixture of acid we got. Mixture of bases. Third one you write down. pH of the mixture of base. What is the value of log 2.83? Could you tell me? Log of 2.83. So it is 2 minus 0.45, correct. 1.55 approximately the answer is. Okay, 1.55 is the answer. pH of the mixture of base, again, it is very simple. Suppose we have two bases, BOH1 and BOH2. If you are mixing the two base, then obviously we'll get the concentration of OH minus here. Right. So in this case, we'll have the total number of equivalents here. Equals to N1 V1 plus N2 V2, assuming the normality and volume of base one is N1 V1. And this is N2 V2. So OH minus concentration would be N1 V1 plus N2 V2 divided by V1 plus V2. Okay, simple, like we did one question on acid. Similarly, you can do it on base. Remember, we need to find out pH. So OH minus concentration we get, then you can find out H plus concentration, and then you can find out pH. Okay, now the next one is pH of solution of weak acid. of weak acid. Okay, weak acid we have, suppose I'm assuming an acid CS3COOH, a weak acid. We have, you know, weak acid uh, are the weak electrolytes. It won't dissociate completely. So it will be CH3COO minus and H plus. Okay, I'm assuming the initial concentration of acid is C. This is zero, this is zero. When it dissociates, if the degree of dissociation, I'm assuming alpha to attain equilibrium state. So it is C minus C alpha. This is C alpha and this is C alpha. So Ka is equals to concentration of product that is CS3COO minus H plus CH3COOH. This is the formula we have which further we can write C alpha square by one minus alpha. 
this is what we can do now if you are assuming alpha is very small so we can write 1 minus alpha almost equals to 1 okay hence ka is equals to c alpha square again you focus on this we need to find out h plus concentration that is c alpha we need to find out once you know this h plus we can find out ph okay to get c alpha what we do we'll multiply both side by c here so c times ka is equals to c square alpha square so c alpha is equals to root under c k which is nothing but the h plus concentration here copy this down Okay, so H plus concentration we got. Now, when you substitute this in order to find out pH, pH is equals to minus log of H plus. So H plus concentration is minus log of CKA to the power one by two, which is further equals to minus half log c plus log k minus sign if you take in then it becomes half minus log k a is p k a minus log c this is ph formula of pH under this condition. Done. Yeah, just a second, I'll go back. Mixture of base, okay. Okay. Now, one more very important thing here. Copy this down first. Done this, all of you?
Tell me. Finish now. Okay. Now, this is the formula of pH. But you see here, listen to me very carefully, all of you. The concentration of H plus we get, once we have this assumption, isn't it? We are assuming this, that we do in most of the cases, but this formula is based upon this assumption, which we cannot always make. If you can make this assumption, then the formula of pH is correct. If you cannot make this assumption, then the only way is what? We know this H plus concentration, C alpha. You need to find out C alpha and then you can get the answer. But the formula that I have written, pH is equals to half of pKa minus log C. This we can only use when we can make this assumption. If one minus alpha is almost equals to one. This is the condition we have, then we can use this. If we cannot, uh, if we do not have one minus alpha equals to one, then we know the con concentration of H plus, I'll write down here, concentration of H plus equals to C alpha. And this is true in all condition. This is true in all condition. This we need to uh, use this uh, particular formula in order to find out pH. Correct. Difference is what you see here. We have this expression. The expression is what? See, the expression is Ka is equals to C alpha square by 1 minus alpha. We are having this assumption so that we can solve this expression easily, right? And to a certain extent, this assumption, if you take, you will get a certain answer. If you don't take this assumption, then you have to solve the quadratic for alpha, and then you will get C alpha again. So in that way, the two answers that you are getting, the difference is not that great. Hence, we can always take this assumption. But like I said, we have a condition under which we can take this assumption. Otherwise, we cannot take this assumption. What is that condition? I'll tell you. What you need to do, you need to find out alpha from this formula. Alpha is equals to Ka by C. You've just calculated the formula of alpha with this only. K is equals to C alpha square. So whatever question is given, you find out alpha with this formula. If the value of alpha you are getting is less than 0.1, is less than 0.1, then under this condition, we can have this assumption, one minus alpha equals to one, right? But if the value of alpha you are getting greater than equal to 0 0.1, right? Then we can say one minus alpha, we cannot assume it to be one. In this case, you have to do the exact calculation. Exact calculation means what? You have to solve this quadratic, get the value of alpha, find C alpha and then H plus concentration and then pH, okay? In some book, this value they have written 0 0.05 as well. That also you must take care of. So this is the condition of uh, alpha we have under which we can take the uh, approximation. Yes. Clear, understood all of you? Okay. Now we'll see this question, you'll understand. First of all, all of you copy down this.
uh usually we use uh, 0.1 um, also 0 0.05 also you can take like uh, assume 0 0.05 only that's fine you will get questions in which the value won't lie in this range okay so any one you can take in mind in some book they write 0.1 in some book they write 0 0.05 0 0.05 you can take not a problem but keep this in mind okay Okay, next, look at this question. Question is to calculate calculate the pH of 10 to the power minus one molar CH3COOH solution if K value is given, K for CH3COOH is given 2 into 10 to the power minus 5. Also calculate pH. pH of 10 to the power minus 5 molar CH3COH solution. Try this. Find out alpha first. You check whether you can, you know, neglect uh, alpha or not, depending upon its value, and then use the formula accordingly. Two point eight five is correct. The second one is not correct. Ever. Second one, you cross check your calculation. The first one, the answer is two point eight five. Okay. 
see the first question is the first part of this question we have concentration given that is 10 to the power minus 1 molar k is same for both right so alpha is equals to what we'll find out alpha ka by c root under that would be 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 divided by 10 to the power minus 1 root under of it so it is we are getting 10 to the power minus 2 into 1.414 so obviously this value is lesser than 0.05 we can say or 0.1 we can say right so if this is there then we can assume 1 minus alpha is almost equals to 1 and for this uh the concentration of h plus we have it is c into alpha alpha value we have calculated right so it is uh, or directly we can use the formula here both way you can solve that's not a problem okay so ph is equals to half of pka minus log c half of pka value is what pk of this is 5 minus log 2 4.7 minus minus plus 1 5.7 by 2 it is 2.85 the ph of the first part of this question okay obviously in the second one if it is concentration is 10 to the power minus 5 here this and this will get cancel alpha we are getting more than 1 right that value is too huge it means we cannot neglect alpha with respect to 1 correct so in the second case what we can write concentration is 10 to the power minus 5 and hence alpha value is greater than 0.1 or 0.05 okay so we can write h plus concentration here is c into alpha so we need to find out the value of alpha because concentration we know 10 to the power minus 5 that formula we cannot use over here keep that in mind so to find out alpha what we can write ka is equals to c alpha square by 1 minus alpha we need to solve the quadratic like i said Yeah, five point one four is correct, I guess. Okay, so C alpha is square is ten to the power minus five alpha is square. Divided by one minus alpha is equals to two into ten to the power minus five. So when you solve this quadratic, you will get alpha is square. Plus two alpha minus two is equals to zero. Alpha is equals to minus two plus minus four minus minus plus four. Root over divided by two. So it is twelve. Twelve is two root three. Two and two will get cancelled. So minus one plus root three. and we are getting 0.732 the alpha value this alpha will substitute here and hence the h plus concentration would be 0.732 into 10 to the power minus 5 ph is equals to minus log of h plus so 5 minus log of 0.732 point 0.732 the value is approximately 0.14 or 0.135 so it is minus of this it is 5.135 or 5.14 approximately the answer is
because log of 0.732 is minus of 0.135. Log value is minus 0.3135. Log less than one is negative, no? Log value will be given, Rakul. If you cannot find out with those three, four values of log, other values will be given in the question. You don't have to worry about it. Because you cannot memorize all the log values now. So if it is required, it will be given in the question. If not, then you can solve it by, by using some log property. Clear any doubt? Okay. 